tutorial, I will show how to animate with characters specifically, but for view models, that'll be a whole separate video. All right, enough talk. Let's get straight to the tutorial. The plugins you will need is, well, obviously Moon Animator and Edit Rig. I will have a link to both of these plugins in the description of my video. What's sad right now is that Moon Animator is like really expensive now. It used to be free, but it costs Robux now. I just don't know how much Robux it costs. For this video, I'll be using the Compressive Gun Kit, and I'm also going to need a character. So I'm going to do R6. You can do R15 if you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I like to do R6 because just feels better in my opinion so let's find a gun so i'm gonna start off with something simple okay let's do this colt m4a1 cool so now you have your gun and your character that you want to animate we're not done yet though we need to do something to the gun so we can actually like animate it you know so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to model click part and what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to click on the part go to properties and change the name to a uh, handle like that or you can just go to the explorer tab and type handle like that but Whatever works for you. I'm just naming it that so I know that it's the handle. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to like shape the handle to where the grip is going to be. Okay, so now that you shaped the handle where the grip is, you're going to want to go to the properties of the handle. Then make sure the transparency is set to 1 so now it's invisible. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag the handle into the gun. Alright, so here's the fun part. Looking for the, the gun parts, I guess. Okay, so... You will notice that inside of the gun model, every part inside of here is named part. I want to animate the mag and the, the charging handle, the bolts and everything. So but we can't just have those parts named part. It just makes it hard, you know? What I usually do is I leave everything how it is and I just look for the parts that are actually important that you want to animate. So for example, let's see if I can find it first. Oh, here's one, the bolt. The reason why this is important is because it goes back like this. So, you know the bullet can go out um oh what the hell what the i do not remember <laughs> seeing that anyway so the bolt is important so i'm gonna change the name to bolt just like that i think that's what it's called if it's not then i'm stupid please correct me uh here's one the magazine so i'm gonna change it to mag just for short this is the charging handle so you pull it back and that pulls the where is it the uh the bolt back whenever you pull the the charging handle so I'm going to rename this to charging handle. Oh yeah, you got to look for the grip too, which is that. Just name this grip or something like that. This is like, this is the actual grip part of the gun. So what you're going to want to do is click on your gun model. And then go to plugins and click edit rig. What you're going to want to do is click handle. Now what you can do is you can just uh, hold shift and click everything else. And then create joints so that the handle is jointed to everything. So you can literally animates every part like you can move this or this or this but you know that the like because we're doing moon animator i don't want to like do that just, it just makes it confusing in my opinion so, so what we're gonna do instead is i'm gonna click now this may be more confusing to a lot of people and like i had i've had so many comments on my old tutorial that like oh no i welded and i jointed it didn't work you know i'm gonna try to explain this the best way i can possibly explain this so when you join things it means you can like animate it or like move it and crap. But when you weld things, it means you're just like, it's like, it's like glue. It's like, you're just gluing it to something. So if I take the handle and I weld this part and I click weld. So now the part is welded to the handle. That means that I cannot move this. But if I move the handle, it'll move this with it. But if I joint it instead, it means that I can move the grip and it'll move that. But I can also move this. So what I'm about to do is this kind of depends if um, you're going to animate the gun just by itself. So if you want to animate the gun just by itself, like just the gun, nothing else with it, like this dude right here, you're going to want to click the handle, hold control, click the grip, create joint. So now they're jointed. And then you click the grip and then hold control, click the important parts, joint those. And then you're going to want to click the grip. And then you're going to want to click everything else here except for the handle and then weld it. Oh yeah, one small thing. If you want to animate the gun just by itself, click on the model, click primary part, and then click the handle. Now we can actually animate this thing. You'll notice that it'll show only these. So I can move this however I want. I can move the uh, charging handle. I can move the bolt. I can take the mag out. Pretty cool like that. And if I move the handle, it moves everything with it. 
So that's just for animating the gun by itself, but I want to animate the gun with the actual um, character that I have here. So, so what we're going to do is uh, take handle and delete the, the joint and go to grip and delete all the welds and joints within it. Because this is going to be a part of the character, um, I'm just going to rename this to part because grip will not be important unless you're doing FE gun kit, but whatever. And then you're going to do edit rig. Then what you're going to want to do is click the handle, hold control. Click the bolt, charging handle, mag, all the important crap that we're going to animate, joint, and then you're going to click the handle again, hold control, and select all the parts that you did not click on yet. Then click weld. Now the easiest way you can do this is just by literally jointing everything, but it just makes it confusing when you're using Moon Animator in my opinion. So, so I did it this way just to make it easier for myself. Then you can get out of um, edit rig. If you're going to animate the gun with the character, then you're going to want to remove the primary part. So click the model, go to primary part, and then just click X so that there's no primary part. Now you're going to want to position the gun how you want to your character. Oh yeah, just saying, I just want to point this out because I keep seeing this a lot in Roblox games or just in other Roblox animations. Make sure your character is not holding the gun like this. It's stupid. It looks terrible. Make sure that your character's finger is actually on the trigger so that he's actually shooting the gun. So it makes sense. Now that you position your gun to your character's arm, you can want to move the gun into your character. So now that your gun is inside of the uh, character, you want to click your character, go to plugins and click edit rig. So you're going to see this if you did it right. You notice that I put my gun where my character's right arm is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this so I can see the handle right here. And then I'm going to go here. I'm going to click right arm. So here's the right arm. I'm going to hold control, click the handle, and click create joint. Now the reason why I didn't weld it is because I want to be able to control or like move the uh, handle however I want. But the character's arm will still move the uh the, um, the gun and then you can just get out of edit rig and you're pretty much all set so now you just got to do the animation part I'm done with my firing animation very simple in this tutorial i will not show how to animate good or be a good animator or make a good <laughs> animation that'll be a whole different tutorial that i will not make so uh but anyways i'm gonna save this animation real quick i'm gonna name it uh fire there we go and i'm gonna close this now what we need to do is we need to create the muzzle flash if you're too stupid to know what the muzzle flash is then it's the, it's the fire that you see that comes out of the barrel so i'm just gonna go to toolbox and i'm gonna search muzzle flash like that so here's the muzzle flash i'm gonna be using and you'll notice that you'll see this weird square here yeah i'm gonna just make that transparency zero i'm gonna rename this to flash like that and if you okay i'm gonna delete that real quick if you click inside of here you'll see that there's a particle in here and i'm gonna delete that too remember delete all the extra stuff we just want the part and the particle so you'll notice if i click on the muzzle flash or the the actual particle and then i unenable it you notice that it disappears, but if I re-enable it, it appears. For now, I'm going to have this disabled. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, mu the muzzle flash. I'm going to drag it to the tip of the, the gun. Okay, here's where I put it. I put it right here. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to drag this into the gun. Click the gun. Go into edit rig. Click the handle. And if you want, you can weld this or joint it. Because it's just the muzzle flash, I'm just going to weld this because I'm not going to move this anywhere. So now that the, the part itself is welded to the handle, we'll go back into your animation. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on this plus sign, okay? Now this is going to appear. So what you're going to want to do is go into your gun again. Go inside of here, the flash or the, the part, and then click on the particle. Now this should appear. 
uncheck everything else and make sure that only enabled should be checked. You'll see that only enabled is checked. So here's where he fires the gun. It's right when the animation starts. We also got to turn off the flash like right here. So press plus on your keyboard. Click this. Click the first keyframe and you can double click it or you can just press 7. Whatever works for you. And then you're going to check this. There you go. And make sure that this is unchecked and the style says none. So that, especially here, it says none. So it's instant. And then there you go. You have yourself muzzle flash. It's kind of glitchy though, because this is just a particle. So I recommend you move this further so that you can actually see the muzzle flash. And there you go. You can see the muzzle flash of my character shooting the gun. Now, if you want to go even crazier, you can add a light to make it uh, more realistic, I guess. Oh yeah, by the way, when you're doing this fire animation, you're going to have to convert it to an actual um, moon animator file so that you can include the muzzle flash. I forgot to mention that, but it, well, when, when you're adding it inside of your rig animation, it, it automatically does it for you, so you don't have to worry about that. Your animation will not be lost. Everything will still be there. Now, just because I feel like it, I'm going to add a little light here, so point light. Oh yeah, if you want to make it look cooler, go to your lighting change this to future anyways go back to your point light Set the range shadows sure so now i'm gonna go back into the animation i'm gonna click add i'm gonna go here uh the flash point light uncheck everything and make sure enabled is only there and then i'm gonna create two keyframes here both of them should be set to none boolean enabled so now when I fire the gun, you can see the light that goes around. That is how you animate uh, an M4. <laughs> Alright, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So, if you liked this tutorial, then please like, and uh, that's pretty much it. But anyways, I'm gonna go back to sleep. I'm kinda tired. Good night. Uh, subscribe.